Assalamu alaikum. So today I went this well this morning to uh, a moving sale. It was a, really a big sale. It was a three-family dwelling, and uh, they just had a ton of stuff. It started at 9 a.m. I think we got there about quarter to 10, maybe 10 o'clock. And we left at 3 o'clock, and they still had maybe two hours worth of stuff to go yet. They hadn't even gotten to the farm machinery. So I didn't get to see any of that sell. But they just had a lot of stuff. I mean, they had the, the guy there repaired uh, hay mowing hay mowing equipment, horse-drawn hay mowing equipment. So he was selling all his inventory and parts and uh, <clears throat> there was probably a half a dozen or more hay mowers sitting out there for sale in the auction. Um, as well as wagons and hay loaders. There was one hay loader that was just brand new, like completely brand new fiberglass parts and uh, they had a ton of guns they actually had at one point I think they had three auctioneers going at once three rings going um, but there was just a ton of stuff tons of uh, household furniture um, handmade stuff like um, there was probably three maybe three or four different Hoosier style cabinets, um, different sizes. Um, they brought some pretty good money. There was a uh, dry sink. It was a smaller dry sink, but big enough for two tubs. Um, and handmade, I'm not sure what, what wood it was. I think it was oak. It could have been maple though, I'm not sure. Uh, that the, the first one brought $45 and I missed that I was way in the back and I went running up to the front but I I missed it it sold for 45 bucks and I had already bought so much stuff I don't even know if we could have fit it in the vehicle we came in anyways but uh, that was just a really good deal and they had another one that was a little bit bigger and it was uh, had a little bit better varnish on it and I think that one bought maybe like 350 um, but they just had a ton of stuff they had a, a lounge uh, which is uh, I'm not sure if you all know but that's kind of like their couch slash bed that they usually have in the living room for uh, to sit on something comfortable because most of the furniture is just hardwood with no cushions or just a real thin cushion in it and then the lounge is kind of like a bed slash sofa that they sit on and I think they had a handmade lounge out of oak that brought around 350 the prices weren't really terribly bad they had a couple real nice dressers and high boards um, there was a family size cream separator that uh, brought right close to $300. Um, it was stainless steel on a wooden stand. Um, they had quite, they had maybe two picnic tables full of uh, kerosene lamps and uh, they, they were really nice. Real, the real big ones with the real big base on them um, in different colors. They had like the cobalt blue ones. They had the the green ones, they had the red ones, and then they had some clear ones. I think the most expensive was the a set of uh, uh, green ones. It was a real big, had a real big base and stand on it, and those brought about 180 or 160 for the pair. Somebody bid them up to, and the rest of them after that they they bid them up to $25 a piece and you could come and pick whichever ones you wanted off the table for $25 each and they they did have a couple that matched some I had and I thought about getting them but they uh, 
the line formed up so quick that I thought before I even get to the end of the line, it'll, they'll all be gone already. Because I mean, everybody just swarmed the table when they said that. In the end, on that particular table, there was still four left that ended up selling, I think, for $5. They sold all four of them. And then they sold the, uh, the chimneys for the lamps separately, which I didn't like that. But... The chimneys averaged about $15 a piece, so you went and bought your lamp base, and then you had to go pick out a chimney for it, and that was $15 a piece for the lamp chimneys. Um, and that size lamp, I think, was probably uh, about $70 new. So it was still cheaper than new, and they were in mint condition. They were just real beautiful glass, and, and they were polished up real nice. Um, <clears throat> the second table, towards the end, they had a pile of uh, lamps that ended up going for 10 bucks. And I, there was really only two lamps in the whole pile that I wanted, but I, I ended up getting the whole pile. Um, but it was a lot of running back and forth between the, the uh, different rings. And they had a whole other ring that was out in the repair shop where he repaired the hay mowers. And they were selling parts and tools, and so I got a couple good fit pitchforks there, and a couple shovels. Um, I think I gave 60 for two pitchforks, and uh, no, I think I gave 60 for the shovels, and I think I gave 40 for the pitchforks. But I'll show you what I got. So these are all the goodies that I got here. Um, these lamps here, all these lamps I got for 10 bucks. Um, as you see, the, these four here um, don't have any heads on them. I guess it's three. Really, I just wanted these two because I like these kind of jar light lamps. I think they're kind of cool. Uh, to me, these two are worth 10, but I had to take the whole pile. So I'll probably just give some of, some of them away to mom and my sister, and if they want any. Those are the main two I want there. Um, and I got that pile of pails here for 15. Um, I like these for my chicken feeders for my adult chickens in the breeding pens because it's easy to just pour the water in there and. You know, that amount of water will last in two days. And I only have to water every other day with these. So I thought that was worth $15 for them little pails. They had a big thing of pails in all different sizes, and you could choose whichever stack you wanted for $15. And that's what I chose there. Um, this uh, water jug. I've been wanting one of these. I was gonna get one from uh, Walmart. I think they're like 40 or 50 bucks at Walmart. And I think I gave uh, 50. Trying to find my receipt here. Yeah, I gave $5 for this. So that wasn't too bad. I don't think it wasn't real stained inside, so it should clean up pretty easy. Um, that's just handy to have water, drinking water or something on the counter when, you, when the uh, tank runs out. And then I bought these three um, feeders here for the goats. I need something else for the goat water because I had a couple dishes like this for their water and they just that buck decided to smash them all up uh, so that was I think I paid forty dollars for all three of those um, and then the forks I paid 35 for uh, this these two forks here I paid 35 for those and the only thing I 
I noticed was this handle here has got a gouge that'll hurt your hand after a while. Maybe I could wrap it with some tape or something. Um, and the eveners and the uh, neck yoke I paid 55 for. The, I don't really like this style of evener, but um, the ones that I got on the spreader broke back there. And I needed something pretty bad. I do have one other set. It's wooden and it's not in real good shape. But both of these I paid 55 for. And the neck yoke is really good, just really heavy duty. But a buddy of mine was had a set like this and he was yanking logs with it and he said they just bent right in half. So I'm hoping these will work okay as long as I don't, uh, you know, yank logs with them. Just using them on the spreader or on the uh, fork cart. Hopefully they'll be alright. Because they are metal. Um, and, and I bought these buggy lanterns here. Uh, I paid $50 for them. I was kind of inspired by uh, off-grid North Country to, to, to try these. These are uh, quite a bit bigger size than what I normally use on my buggies. And he was talking about how he, the bigger lamps shed more light, which is makes sense. The bigger the wick, the more light it throws. So I'd never seen a set this big before. These were fifty-five dollars, but I didn't realize. So I got home, they're both the same side. So that's kind of disappointing. I didn't realize that when I bought them that they were both the same side. And I bought this lantern here. They must have had a pile of these, maybe fifteen or twenty of these in a pile, and. Uh, they gave you a choice out of the pile for $15, which is a super good deal because I think they're only about 20 or 25 new. But um, choice out of these for $15, and and the I, I, maybe two or three people got two or three out of that pile, and then they sold the whole pile for $10. After that, I just thought, what in the world would I do with all them lanterns? So I didn't even bid on them. But, uh, that is what I got. I, including my dinner and my driver, I spent probably a little over $300. <clears throat> so I thought I got some good deals. And just wanted to share those with you. Let me know what you think. And I also included a few pictures of the farm where the auction was. I didn't get anything close up, but some from the distance as we were leaving. It was like a three-family uh, dwelling place there. And uh, just a huge, huge farm. I didn't stay for the horses either. They did the horses last. They had quite a few horses and uh, a lot of harnesses and collars and miscellaneous tack. Uh, they did have one buggy they sold. Uh, it was just a ton of stuff. All the haying equipment you need from rakes, uh, they had the balers, they had the motors to go on the balers, they had uh, the hay loaders, um, they must have had six or seven hay wagons. Everything was just in mint condition. They had a one horse walk behind potato digger. They had actually they had three of them, and I was really interested in them. But it was just so far to the end of the line. When they started on the equipment, it was about three o'clock, and I just had to get home. We got up so early to go because Gladwin's actually an hour and a half away from my house, so we had to get up extra early to do chores. And I was just getting tired, and I was ready to go home. And actually, we didn't even finish chores we just quit because the driver got there so we still got to go finish the chores here we still got about a half an hour worth of feeding to do but uh a lot of goodies a lot of stuff went reasonable i thought there was a a, a um, pioneer wood cook stove which i'm kind of looking for a good wood cook stove for my summer kitchen 
and that brought 500 which I thought was a great deal. That was about $100 more than I had, but um, that wasn't a bad deal for that stove. It was in pretty good shape. Um, and there was probably three, around three or four um, wood-driven hot water heaters. It was a uh, kettle, a uh, cast iron, huge cast iron kettle with a lid on it. Um, all that stuff brought uh, two to three hundred dollars. Uh, I think one of the uh, one of the stainless steel hot water heaters brought it like five hundred, and they had. Um, three ringer washers, one of them brought 300 and the other two uh, went for 300 for both of them together. They had a couple uh, rinse tubs that went with them and I don't remember what they brought. They had several uh, hand push lawn mowers, real mowers, and I think those averaged anywhere from 75 to 150 for them because they probably had about seven or eight of them. And they did have some butchering equipment, the meat saws and the stainless steel pails and some of the hooks to hang your meat and um, a bunch of milk cans. I'm trying to remember. They probably had six or eight wagons full of just hand tools of all kinds, some shovels, rakes. Uh, cant hooks, um, sanders, just all kinds of hand tools. Um, so it was just a lot of stuff, like unbelievable the amount of stuff and the amount of people there. So it was a lot of fun. Thought I'd share that with you all.